All right, so we have those. Then, remember I had 7,952 pens. Well, I, you know, you see all of the wonderful, beautiful organizers that hang on the wall. They're expensive. So I decided I'm going to go this route, see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll try something different. But for right now, I'm using the Dollar Store pink and gray pen holders. And we're just going to see how that works. So I put all of my alcohol markers in here. And I this, this alone took me three hours because I couldn't... <laughs> I couldn't figure out if I wanted to go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, or if I wanted to go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I, uh, can we move on? Thanks. Okay, here, um, it might look a little odd. What is this? I went to Walmart a while ago and got some 98-cent knee highs. Um, don't remember the color. Maybe it was coffee. I don't know. And so I took two of them, layered them, filled them with, uh, cornstarch. And this is what you use to rub on your cardstock to reduce the static. This is my version. This is my one dollar version instead of paying you know seven dollars <laughs> so, yeah we're moving on but anyway you do that you want to remove this the static from your cardstock when you are going to use embossing powders um, the embossing powder will stick to that static and then you'll have specks all over and it's not perfect and it's a hassle just a few more pens for you. Then I have tassels and embellishments, things that I can use to make tassels, things that I can use to embellish with. I can embellish um, a card. I can make a tassel to hang off the side of a junk journal, whatever my heart's content. Back there are this is all of my eyelets. Of course, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, you know. It's a problem. But I got them all color coordinated. They're back there. So I did that. Then I put a couple of my cards up here to just have those out on display because that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to clean up this room is so that I could have, you know, a couple of the things that I make displayed around my room. Up here I put my colored pencils because I don't really use them. They're colorful and I just thought it would bring a cool pop of color to the top of that. This is a Christmas card that I turned into a junk journal. I'll bring it down and we'll go through it very quickly. So I just took it and um, made little belly bands, made little tags, you know, you can write in there, um, put a little tag here, you can write on the back, I'm sure there's pockets on the side, who knows. Um, then this is a pocket and I put little tags down in there, a little cute napkin, just things you can write on. This is the back end of the envelope and then the front end of it is right here. So the crease of that envelope is on that spine and the spine, this is where I'm doing the book binding when I'm making a junk journal. So, that one was fun, and I think maybe those would be fun to gift, maybe, if people like to, especially like at Christmas time, 
You could give it to them to use the next Christmas to organize. If they t host for Christmas, they could have menu, grocery list, you know, things like that. Or if it's, you know, someone who is not home often but wants to remember the memories, like a, a, a sailor or uh, an airman or, you know, someone in the service, they could put pictures in here and then write about what they did with their family or their friends or their girlfriends or boyfriends or whatevers. So yeah, I just took all of the pages. This is the middle. And then I took my all and I put the holes in it, bound it. I just put different little embellishments in it, made little tags, just kind of distressed it on the edges so yeah that's a junk journal if you haven't ever seen one that's an idea i made that from a dollar store card christmas card and that's why i have every flipping christmas card oh let me put this back and that's why i have every single christmas card because i thought oh yeah i'm gonna make a bunch of these <laughs> okay so that's two shelves down. Let me know in the comments below if you were here before this organization, what do you think about this system? Do you think it's good? Do you think I should change anything? What are your thoughts? On this shelf I have, we already went through that didn't we? The Cricut um, cords and things and then this was my like other stuff, overflow of paint, tea staining, coffee staining. Up here I have my Cricut accessories. I have vinyl. I have transfer tape. Um, I have my Cricut Joy. Sorry. I have my Cricut Joy mat in here for making cards. It needs to be reorganized. I have some heat, hot foil. I have so many things. I must have thrown out all of my... Oh, you know what it is? I gave it to my daughter. I gave. I had two crickets. I had a cricket two and a cricket three. The um, maker. And I gave her the maker when she became a teacher with all of my removable and permanent adhesives. And I just kept the iron-ons thinking I was going to make all these shirts. I should have given her every single bit of it. But that's neither here nor there by this point. Over here, I have my special paper. These clips are from the dollar store. They come in like a pack of four. It's just glued on the back of that. It's a chalkboard. I used a white jelly roll pen. Uh, I don't have that handy right at the moment, but you'll see it. I have my wax paper here. I have some chalkboard stickers here. I have... Um, uh, what are these? These are... Um, file tabs, sticker paper, Ace Tate, um, business cards, business shipping, yeah, photo paper, all of that is in there. On the next, oh, and then I have my mats over here. I remember I had those hanging up on the wall over there. I don't need 12, first of all. Second of all, half of them, like the really long ones, what am I making that's 24 inches long? I, no. I kept like four. One, two, three, okay, five. Okay, that's it. Went over to the dollar store and got paper trays to hold my papers. So... They had some that, sorry, they had some that were very, very um, marbleized. I wanted the less marbleized, even though I have gray, but I don't really use a marble theme, per se. So I bought two of those. They just stack on top of each other, just like that. 
maybe. Hold on, I'm trying to be perfect. Okay. And what I... What I did... Oh, there's my vellum. What I did... Oh, there's my other flipping card I couldn't find. Okay. What I did was on the top, I put my 80-pound paper. And then on the bottom, I have my 110-pound paper. And then I see that I have my vellum here, which I need to transfer into there. Um, next to that, I had picked out two brighter than this pink. It was like, kind of like a hot pink, like that. Um, magazine rack at the dollar store. And I was like, Lord, this is going to clash with everything. I couldn't find a gray one. I did have two gray ones, but they were like a lacy pattern, so they weren't sturdy at all, and I just wanted something more sturdy. So I picked up the hot pink ones from the dollar store, and I said, well, if, you know, I can't find what I want, I'll just use these. Well, lo and behold, I did go to Target, and these were $3 a piece in the do Target dollar spot, scooped them up. Put a couple of the clips on here as well. This is all of the pattern paper that I had in the 12 by 12 size. I cut it all down to 8.5 by 11. And so that way I just have something that I can use for a card base, for the panel, for you know, whatever. Or for junk journaling, whatever. And then next to it, I have my solid paper. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay, we know how that goes, right? Okay. Up here, this is also in line with the card making. These are all of my wax seal items. So these are my... Let's bring him down. So these are my um, my stampers for all the seasons. This is my um, burning unit and the candles that go with it. An extra handle. I think I kept those those bags because I thought I could use them for something. I'm now looking at it, saying, "Get in there and throw those away." I have some of those envelopes from AC Moore over here. Um, actually, I could probably put all of them over here. It would make sense, but I don't know. And then these are all my waxes because I couldn't just have one color because I like color. It's a problem. So, I put all of that in there. And if you remember over on this shelf, um, I believe it was right here, I had my two round turntables with beads and, like wooden beads and plastic melty beads. I moved those over to here. So I have all of my wooden beads here because I thought I was going to be making beaded garlands. <sighs> ah! And then I have all of my seed beads up here that I can either melt and make things with or I can use them to make tassels or embellish a card or who knows. And then I had another one of these over on my desk that was just holding stuff that I was throwing into it, literally. This one did not fit in there, so he... Needs to go into there. This one is just, you know, can we please go to bed, mother? Because uh, it's past 8 o'clock, so he's ready. All right. You have to film late when you work. So here, looks. what's that order? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Black, brown, 
And then I have all of my orange kind of colored paint brushes together and my greens and my... Uh, the amount of issues that I have. It's organized. So there's that. And then up top I just have a picture of my son in his graduation day. Over here I have a picture of us when I was still skinny. We went to Philadelphia because he's an Eagles fan. And I had to drag the boy to go see the dang the Liberty Bell. Man, that made me mad. I was so mad at him. I'm like, dude, I haven't asked you for what. I did everything you wanted. Everything you wanted. Got you everything you wanted. This is the one thing I am asking. This is a skill that you will need to have in marriage. You have got to give, son. I got on him so bad. Mm. All right, so I took out... <laughs> Yes, I did. I took out the big white table. Why did you do that, Leslie? I did that because it was about, it gave me about 10 inches of space to work on. You know, I could get a, like a happy planner there, barely, but I couldn't make cards or do anything. I had no room to move things around. I had no room to keep the things that I needed to grab for off. I had no room on that. That thing is horrible. A waste of $60. Just a waste. So I took it all apart and the two cubbies, I'm using one. The other one I still have, the tabletop I still have, and the four cubbies at the bottom I'm using. So we'll get to all that. So I have my laundry basket slash trash can under there. And I just pulled up my foldable table that I used to use for so many years when I was crafting. Because it makes life easy. So then I have my Gemini over here on my little $5 um, Target dollar spot turntable so that I can turn it around and get it pull it out of the back side they make them specifically for the Gemini but I am on a no spin journey so I'm not getting it this is the bracelet I'm making myself <laughs> for graduation but I need to find some better spacers I'm not happy with the spacers because my jump rings keep getting caught in it and my little spider came off. So I have a little spider, a star. This is my motto. She believed she could, so she did. And then I have a little cap. And then I have a little ball, a basketball, because that's my favorite sport there is the basketball. I like the football, but mm -mm. basketball wins every time. So, I have a small jar of everyday pens. I have my little business cards here. Um, I keep batteries and SD cards here. My chapstick, my hand, I was going to say soap, but that's lotion. My tape runner, one of the things I use the most. My antibacterial. I just got over the terrible cold virus thing, so I am starting that journey of scrubbing everything down. I haven't done it this week because work. Work in basketball, okay? I don't have time. <laughs> this is one of my smaller journals that I use for tracking my budget. Still haven't done my nails. These are my um, swatches for my pens, my alcohol markers, and then I just have all of my index cards in there. I can grab them and make notes on them. I can use them in junk journaling, whatever. My little pink tool, I saw this on a YouTuber's um, 
site. It is Kathy Zilski. She's a card maker. I think she got hers offline. I was in Walmart walking down the makeup aisle, saw it, and said, hey, that looks like what she has. So I got it. It's the same concept. Um, and put my tools in it. You can find them on Amazon. I have one of these left over. The rest of them are holding, I think, yeah, that's what I put my confetti in. So if I get another one from the dollar store, I guess I could put him up with my. So this will be a filming station. So here's usually where I, you know, place my camera and then it's looking down. And I had an extra arm, so I decided to add that to the table and then add my light so that when I'm over here doing videos, we can see. But we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go with the low light vibe for tonight. We're chilling. It's Friday night, y'all. Okay. Let's put this where my blanks are. Had to think about that, and that's uh, up there. Okay. So, yeah, there's station one for filming and card making. I have that chalkboard up there. I'm going to start using this because right now it's just holding my guide to the cubes for my eyelet punch. We are a memory keeper's eyelet punch. Pictures of my kids as babies. My dad's Elks Club entrance thing. Yeah. Okay. So here's one of the four cubes that I had underneath the desk at, um, when I had the white big long board thing. So I put all of my Happy Planner stickers here. Just an overflow of like smaller Happy Planner pages and pages in the Happy Planner that I made because it was getting so bulky. I took June through J December out, so I put that in here. I have my iPads in here. Um, I have my heat embossing tool that I use. It's just out of the men's tool section, but, you know, it does the same thing. It heats it up and melts it. Um, then I just had, this is where I was getting tired again. I have, this is like one of those one terabyte computer storage. When I take photos of my kids or my grandkids or whatever, I'll put it on my computer and then move it from my computer to here. Um, extra stickers and stuff that, <sighs> wait up now. Then I have my hero. And I have my craft turntable that I got from Michaels. And I actually use this a lot, but I wanted to find a way that I could use it better because I would you know it was meant to hold tools and things but then when I would go for a thing of scissors I couldn't find my scissors I wasn't <coughs> I wasn't putting them back or who knows what I was doing but I have tried to organize it so that yeah, see these can be trashed these are years old I've never used them. Trash. Look at me go. Okay. So, as I was cleaning, I'm finding all of my scissors. These are my shears that are supposed to be for outdoors. These are all of my patterned scissors that I got at Christmas time. Um, from Tuesday morning. In here, I have a jump card and a uh, measuring tape. I'm interested to see what's on the jump card. I think it's pictures of my kids before I knew about one terabytes or 
proudly before they had them. Just have this hanging here. This is my eyelet punch hole, hole puncher and eyelet setter. These actually belong downstairs. They're my old kitchen scissors, but they're so old, they might stay up here. Here, I need to replace my chapstick. This is a corner punch from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. And it's got like a stub side or a scallop side. And I haven't quite figured out. I mean, I've cut things with it, but I'm sure it's intended to make... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I bought it. Because I thought it was actually a rounded corner one. I didn't I didn't know a stub was not a normal thing. I'm holding this because where does it belong? Is that where it goes? No. Yeah, see the only thing is is these Curtains. Oh, yeah, curtains. I brought my gray curtains in from next door. Because these are the ones that really go into my craft room. Because my colors are gray and pink. I might paint these walls this year. We'll see. We'll see how the budget goes for that. Yeah, every time I move them, I'm taking these in tarnation. This little punk. All right, there we go. So we have this. Um, here we have just various scissors and a blade, staple puller, not really sure why. This um, I used when I was making my faux strawberry jam. And I thought, well, you know, what am I mixing that's that small? downstairs. I could just keep this in my craft room. Well, I make smoothies, so I think I'm going to take that back downstairs, but it does. Oh, no, we're not going to take that to use for food. So, yeah, that's why he's up there. And then I just have one of my pairs of scissors there. Oh, look, we have more pens. These could probably go into that other one. I might do that now. Let's do that together. Down in there are some glues. I know you probably can't see any of that, but let me get those out. I'm gonna put those. Yeah, this is one of those things that I thought was so cool from the dollar store because actually it's got a small fine point, which is good. So we'll take these and put these with my card making accessories in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait, we're taking him. <coughs> okay. All right. In here we have a bunch of nothing. I'm putting my staple puller in there. Uh, nothing in there. These are my fine point scissors or my fine, fine 
tuning, trimming, a, a dollar store. Love them. They may be able to go up there because they're special. Then I have like all of my repair tools or my tools that I would use for various projects like needle nose pliers are good when I'm using junk brings. These snippers are good for when I have dies and I need to cut them apart. Ugh. And then I just have a screwdriver because you never know when you might need one. I have a wrench because you never know when you might need one. Or pliers, whatever. Oh, man. Apparently I went ham on the glue. So we're going to take that. Put that in there. All right, so we have, yeah, we're back here. So we have pliers, scissors, cutting tool, scissors, or eyelet tool, corner tool, nothing really in there, nothing in here, scissors, nothing in here, my rotary tool, I used to use this when I would cut my mesh for my wreaths, just haven't gotten rid of it. And then in the middle, I put my taller items. This needs to go downstairs. I just put it in here. Make sure I don't have anything else. Oh yeah. And I have that in there because he keeps, I had him here. But he's catching. Huh. I'll put him there. So yeah. That's my roundabout. That's what I've got there. So, 720 hours later, that's the cube, number one. In the very corner over here, I have my trash bags for my laundry slash trash can. My paper shredder. Here's the first cube that was on top of this, but under the um, tabletop. Right here, I put it on top of a table that I've kept my printer on always. Uh, and then my printer paper, the extra is down here. These are my sleeves for when I need to return my ink. Of course, my printer is there. I moved in the other black folding table and I took out my other brown desk. Why'd you do that, Les? Again, I need surface area, and I just wasn't getting it with that little desk. The little desk was fine if I was going to do nothing but sit here and do my job. That's fine. But I was finding that I wanted to come in and look at my budget, you know, or do something else that required the internet and I just didn't have the room to put anything else up there so I pulled in this this is the second cube that was underneath my main table and in here I have computer cords microphones things like that mm, pens these pens are permanent ink, and they are here because they go with all of this stuff that's on here, which is budget-related. Now, if you remember when I did my budget with me check-in, I used these pens or these pens, either one, they're both uh, permanent, to check off, you know, what's been paid or write down what I'm adding into. And then beside it, I have my six-hole punch that is made for, like, um, <clears throat> one of these size, I think it's an A6 folder. Uh, and then I have my extra plastic envelopes or money holders. And then I just have a cash box down there. <clears throat> I don't ask why. We don't know why. We don't even have any cash, people. All right. 
<clears throat> so then here I have those boxes where I'm storing all of my uh, savings challenge money, right? My 1 through 51 and my 1 through 100 envelopes. My bingo games different things like that, my nail polish to clean off the pages. So over here is where I'm housing my main binder. This one is like a, a backup tracker for, I don't know why I have to track what I'm tracking. And then I have my three binders and then my money sorter. And that's it. On the top, I just have my uh, bill holder and a notebook to make notes, a couple of paper clips in case I need them, staple, my editing laptop, keyboard, monitor, stuff like that, and then my calendar, and then of course the TV. So that's it. That's the whole <clears throat> the whole new craft area organization. I feel like I go through these like once every couple of years where I just, I've lived in it. I've gotten it messy. I've gotten it all unorganized. I need to start again, start fresh. I start feeling like I'm drowning. Like I've got all this stuff. Why do I have all this stuff? I didn't have hardly <coughs> anything. Well, excuse me. I had a few things that I got rid of. I mean, I got rid of some pens, some extra papers, some trash, some, you know, blanks that I knew that I wouldn't use. Anything that I <coughs> knew that I would not use in the upcoming year or just weren't going to serve it a purpose in this room, I got rid of. I did not get rid of a lot because a lot of it centered around what I'm doing card making, uh, cricketing, budgeting, journaling, you know, those are all things I'm currently doing. The only things I've really gotten away from are actual crafts, like taking these wood blanks and making something out of them. Occasionally I'll say, oh, I need to make something for my lemon decor. And if you remember, I or if you're new to my channel, there's a video where I made a little lemonade stand out of Dollar Tree items. Um, and that will be in the Let's and that will be in the crafting uh, playlist. Let's create, let's craft and create something. Can't even remember what I named it. But anyway, this is getting way too long. I had a feeling it would be long. I hope you don't mind that it's long. It's been a long week. I'm having a cough attack. I've got to get my allergy medicine in me. Get a bunch of water in me and go to bed. Well, not yet. <coughs> Soon. Anyway, I hope that you all had a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and that you have a wonderful weekend. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Now, before we go, I want to say, if you haven't, please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And I know that you can help me do that. So just hit subscribe. It's free. Also, if you like this video, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. And until tomorrow, I'll see you then, friends. Bye, everyone.